You know, you asked me when Central Fiction came out that Naruto would actually be one of my favorite characters, despite me hardly knowing anything about Blood Edge experience at that time. I probably wouldn't have said much. But Naruto really has come into his own. Like, like mostly this is a result of, like, you know, his interactions with other characters. Him trying to, you know, understand why the hell the world of Blaze was so freaking weird. And I think it works on his level better than Ragnar's because, like, with Ragna, Ragna can deal with the insanity of Blaze Blue, but at the same time, no one really tells him anything. Naoto is a literal fish out of water, and he just doesn't know what the hell's going on. Like, even so, he has to kind of, like, he's just so unaware that it makes his interactions with everything around him so fun to watch. You know, he's, if it, okay, from looks and design-wise, Naoto's pretty average. You know, I do like his outfit, though. I, I, I will admit that I like his design. It, it, he looks like a you know your typical main character, but like his outfit kind of like sets him apart a little bit, you know. Like it, it it looks uniquely designed to him, and I feel like it wouldn't work on anyone else but Naoto. But anyway, like Naoto's just around, and he's wondering like, okay, I'm here in the Blazeville world. What the hell is going on? Like he's a good kid, you know. He's a good kid dealing with the, this bullshit around him, and he's he's it's funny to me just seeing him try to come to grips with all this stuff. Like, Ragnar doesn't get any explanation. He has to kind of deal with, um, like, just learn shit as he goes, you know? Like, Kokonoe, Jubei, or Rachel, they won't tell him shit. And he's, Ragnar, and the thing about Ragnar is he's accustomed to all this. You know, he's dealing with this world of Blaze Blue. He's been here, so he can kind of understand things, even if he's not told anything. But with Naoto, there's nothing to be told to him. He's stuck moving around. No one tells him absolutely anything. I mean, he'll, Raquel, he gets plopped into the, in the Blaze Blue world with just very vague directions from Raquel. Hey, look, dude, your possibilities are over. Your world's over. It's gone. You better just, you know, if you could save the possibility of this world, maybe you can go back home. And now it's just given that. He's like, he's just stuck here. He's like, okay, okay, fine. What the hell, what the hell am I supposed to do here? He's, he just doesn't know what to do here. And I, I just like his interactions. They even worked better. They even worked just as well in cross tag battle because cross tag battle is a crossover fighting game so which means Naruto has to not only deal with the wackiness of blaze Blue's world he has to deal with personas he has to deal with under he has to deal with rubies he has to deal with sinrons and he has to deal with akatsuki's and arcane heart too uh for little he does there but it's funny you know to see him interact with these characters i feel like Naruto's have to be my favorite because he's just He's just this dude. Like he's I feel like Naoto himself is like one of the more human characters in Blaze Blue. Like, you know, like like a person that directly was pulled from like real life, thrown into like this crazy ass world. And I think I like that more than Ragna's interactions with other characters because Naoto is just a regular guy thrown into this shit despite him having you know the eye of the hunter despite him having blood edge powers despite him almost becoming a vampire despite him you know being on a quest for this supernatural being known as raquel it's it's honestly crazy to me that how much i like like how much my life uh i liked him starting to grow over the years you know like you know starting out in central fiction i was like eh I, I, it, he's all right, you know. He, he really didn't make a difference to me. But after going back through Central Fiction multiple times, and then going back through Cross Tag Belt, it's just it's crazy how much I started to like him. It's funny to me, like it really is funny just seeing him. He's just dealing with the insanity. First of all, he just he, even back in Blood Experience, he's just dealing with the insanity of all the stuff he's going through. He had to, he constantly got attacked by both Valkenheim Relius and uh, Valkenheim Relius, uh, Class Alucard, and Spirit Superior. He has to constantly deal with being around Raquel, who makes his life somewhat of living hell. He kind of just has to deal with the shit he goes through and just take it all in stride because there's nothing he can really do about it. And it gets even worse in Central Fiction because now he's in this brand new world full of brand new people like Makoto, who's a beastkin, or, uh, or or like, you know, just other characters like that. And even seeing like this little reinteraction with like uh, Salako, which is nice. Because he has to deal with the same shit that everyone else deals with, but even on a worse scale, because he actually has no direction. You know, at least with the characters in Blaze Blue, they kind of have a, like a good idea of what's going on or where to go. Like, oh, we could go to this hierarchical city or whatever. But now, until not knowing what the hell a hierarchical city even is, he has to kind of run around with Selica, and then when she gets lost, he's just out, you know, just out and about doing absolutely nothing because he doesn't know where to go. 
or his relationship with Makoto, having to bond with her. And it was really nice that Makoto was willing to essentially sacrifice herself of sorts just to get, let Naoto get away and, you know, get away from S. And even Naoto, you know, grew with Makoto a little bit long enough to get outright pissed when, you know, she's gone now. And I kind of like that. It's really nice. And it's... I really want to know what's going to happen afterwards, you know? I really want to know... Like, if Naoto became the next main character of Blaze Blue, I would have no problem now. Now now I know what he's all about and, you know, what he's been through and, you know, just, just an overall great character he is to me. I would personally like to see him if he was the main character. I wouldn't have a problem with it. I honestly would have a problem with it. He seems like a great replacement for a main character and I'm glad to have him around. So, good on you, Naoto. You got the crazy, crazy bastard. Um... Uh, Oh yeah, I didn't get to mention. Oh yeah, sorry, I like the design. I like his theme song. Jaeger is a pretty damn good song. It reminds me a lot of Rebellion, which I think that was Dice Kid was going for. Um, so yeah, it's just nice to see this just, this dude. Like you're just like, man, why the hell I gotta deal with all this? <laughs> why do I gotta deal with all this shit? I was just some dude like a few, few just a while ago. 